Hello! Today I'll be doing a flip through of my grade 12 biology, chemistry, vectors, and functions or pre calc notes. This isn't the entire school year yet, but my school shut down in March ish, April because of COVID 19. So I decided in the meantime, I'll just show you a flip through of my notes so far. I'll hopefully do one for the entire year, but probably in the summertime when school is over. So currently, I'm using the White Lines notebooks for all my notes. Later in the video, you'll see my math notes, which are taken on Muji A4 paper. However, I stopped taking it on Muji A4 paper as the binder fit wasn't really working because it has 30 holes and it just wasn't really good for me plus they always sold out of the paper so it was really hard to get a hold of. However, my white lines notebooks are super nice as there are white lines basically so no black lines and the paper is super thick so it does not bleed through. So in the meanwhile, I'll just be answering some frequently asked questions. The main supplies I use for all of these notes are the Zebra Mob Liners and Zebra Sarasa Gel Pens or Muji Gel Pens for like the black ink part. Or if I ever use colored pens, it's either Sarasa or Muji. The main brush pen that I use is the Tombow Hard Tip Brush Pen. I recently uploaded a video on how to take pretty notes, so check that out if you want to learn how to take notes like this. Also another question is just how do you do this in class because people say their teacher goes too fast. But when I take notes like this, usually I take it down in black pen and I do the fancy titles either before after, or after the lesson. However, if there is no time, I guess I'll just do it at home. For diagrams, I'll usually draw a really quick sketch in class and then I'll fine line it and color it at home. However, like for really big and extravagant drawings, yeah, those are of course done at home. However, if it's like something really easy like a graph or like a really simple shape, I can quickly do it in class. Later in the video, you'll see my math notes, and I'd say 90% of those are actually taken at school, and 10% are just about my review guides and summaries for each unit that I make at home, just a little recap. So another question is, do you ever rewrite your notes? But the answer to that is no, because I just find that I'm regurgitating information that goes into my brain and out and that I really don't learn anything. I just do summary guides at the end. But in fact, my chemistry notes now, those are actually only taken at home as my teacher goes really fast and I like it's impossible to take really nice notes. So these are always taken at home. And plus my teacher gives us handouts to write on that have like some partial information that we fill in. So really, I never take notes in chem. I just have a bunch of handouts. I find that taking notes are good for reading and reviewing ahead in the textbook. So that's why I have a bunch of chemistry notes so I can review and just read ahead so I'm prepared for the class because he also kind of goes really fast in class. So it really depends on your teacher, your note taking style. Some teachers go slower or at a realistic pace. So another question I get asked is how do you have nice handwriting? But honestly I have no idea throughout like high school and middle school I had the most average handwriting you know it was like okay not like super messy but not like super neat then i started getting into like studygram 
and like taking aesthetic notes in about like grade 10 and 11 and then like I practiced my handwriting on my notes and then BAM! One day it turned really nice. IDK, I don't know, I never did tracing sheets, I just always tried to make neat notes at home in our class whenever I had the time in my agenda. I'll make a video soon on neater handwriting too. If you ever have a question, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'm pretty good at replying to those. Now on to my vectors notes. These are part of my calculus and vectors class, so we did vectors first. And I took this on the Muji A4 paper, as I previously mentioned, and then I stopped taking it. So now I use the white lines notebook for my math notebooks. And as you can see, the holes are super thin, so they always rip when I have two prong binder, because I don't have a 30 hole binder. And the paper just, it wasn't compatible with like school and you had to use a special hole puncher. Really wasn't that great, but the paper was really good quality, really smooth, and I liked it. But it just didn't really work for me. Also, most of these notes are taken in class, but I just usually do a review guide at the end of the unit. Sometimes if the diagram is a bit complex like this, like where you can't do it in class, I sometimes at the end of the class just take a picture of the whiteboard and then I do it at home. But if it's something like a line like this, or like these notes like a graph, I can just...
And so that ends the video and I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.